What's up, you guys? It's VDX. Last week was the first tournament in what is probably the last season of ICFC for Tekken 7. ICFC is probably one of the reasons I started streaming Tekken in the first place, and it's part of the reason I've been able to improve as a player at all. This is also probably the last tournament I'll get to play in, aside from the last chance qualifier at the Tekken World Tour Finals, that I can play Noctis in. Every season so far, I've made the finals, except for maybe one season where I was out of the country, but I've never actually won or placed into like the top three for the finals. This time around, if you make top two, they will fly you out to an in-person event. I really want to win this. I really want to show the skills I've spent so much time trying to acquire. So I'll be recapping every ICFC week up through the finals. Hope you enjoy this first one and wish me luck through the season. So the first week of ICFC is always unseeded. This makes it a nightmare for getting any kind of stable result. So for my first match, I was against Minas Peen, who's a Tekken god Omega Claudio. Luckily, I was super focused and my whiff punishment was on point. And I felt like even playing around with some mind games. Super solid start. Whoa, I went under. Safe. The combo was kind of genius, no? That combo was kind of genius! He tried to do everything to not get wall bounced. <laughs> Okay, good start. Unveil the statue? I have no idea. The second match was against a newer player, I believe. Again, because the seeding is so totally random, you never know who you're going to get from round one to round two. Keep watching this match, though, because he started doing a lot of back turn, and I was experimenting with some new punishes that I had in the lab. Fight. <laughs> Kill. Then uh, back through one. Actually, is is it 14? I think it's 14 frames fast. But what the hell? Oh my god, bro. That was the first time I landed that in tournament. 
So first two matches, I was feeling pretty good, but the next one was a real challenge. This is Rello, newly a Tekken God Omega Bryant, but if you haven't seen him on Twitter before, his combo game is insanely optimized. So I knew if I was getting touched by him at all, it was gonna be nasty. On top of all that, he's one of my viewers, so he's seen me play a lot, and I've coached him. Shitty situation. Block situation. Just let it happen. With that win, I was feeling really, really good. The next match was making me a little nervous because Ty is the person who regularly gives me trouble. And run it back Eddie, even though I have a good record, tends to be an aggressive player. And that can be rough. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, low parry. <gasps> what a good low parry, man. Hmm. Ha. Oh, oh, he held the damage for better Okazemi? Or did he just mess? Oh. Brian Fury. It's Brian Fury with punish. Oh, my God. It's over. Oh. Oh my god, he got clipped. Oh all right, I play run it back Eddie. Wow, what an upset. Fight. So going into the run it back Eddie match, I had a solid plan. Sidewalk left on the big mix-ups like down 3-4 and skyrocket. And after that, play around what he shows you. Okay. <laughs> 
fight. Ah, slice the block. That was insane. <laughs> I was also feeling solid here, finding good whiffs, finding good counter hits, but Eddie was super strong and he just kept insisting and insisting on his game plan. And honestly, in a tournament first to two, that's what you have to do. Nice block. Great. I was so surprised he ducked there. Try to block. That's too slow. Fight. That was crazy. the gas too hard here. I gave it to him. <laughs> I didn't believe in my defense, so I gave it to him. That sucks. Oh, I gave it away. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That sucks. That was a tough loss, but total props to Eddie, and I knew that I had to stay locked in. Can't dwell too much on the match that just happened.
Daystri was a super scary next opponent too because she is a super strong Florida player uh, known for beating Pina and other solid players at majors. She works super hard and it's really scary fighting her every time. Luckily Noctis has a really good matchup against Xiaoyu. So my goal was to keep moving backwards and force her to attack into me and don't get my moves evaded. <laughs> Against Xiaoyu, I also like to kind of plan out when I'm going to put her into rage. You'll see me panic when I start throwing her in rage. I gave her rage. Someone help me. <gasps> Wow, I got the whiff too. No rage. Wow. You beat my sword move that went downward. The hell? Oh my god. Oh, I knew she was going to do that, but I tried to hit her out of it. Fuck. I tried to down forward one her out of the rage drive. God, man. Uh. Went under my shadow scissors. A five dollar move, man. Fucking up. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, GG's. <sighs> she did the mid. I I had such a strong feeling she was going to do the mid. It was such a logical choice, but counter hit felt safer to go for. With the win over Day Street, I was feeling pretty good, and now it was finally time to fight Pastel Tommy. This guy has played multiple characters. I, I used to fight his Dragonov, his Brian, his Devil Jin, but now he seemed to settle on Jin. And uh, he's gotten really scary. He regularly plays with Jimmy J and Bronson, like the NorCal legends. So he's no, he's, he's not someone to sleep on. If I beat Tommy, I fight running back Eddie to qualify for top eight. Loser's bracket is always a total nightmare, but I knew I could do it. Oi, he's cooking today, man. Everybody's playing so well. <laughs> My opponents are playing really well today, I think. And I'm kind of selling, to be honest, but... Fight. Whoa. Thank you. 
Ich mal. Ah, I let go. I had him. I didn't believe. Ah, GG's. Oh, I let go. Why did I let go, man? Ah. Damn it. I really, really believed and then gave up at the very, very end. Oh, that fucking sucks, bro. Oh, that sucks, bro. I knew he was going to sweep me. He always sweeps me. He thinks I'm a bitch and I get it. So, unfortunately, I finished 13th in the first tournament of the season. There are still seven more to go, but I was pretty unhappy with how close I was to wrapping it up against Run It Back Eddie and how I started making adjustments against Pastel, but staying focused is super hard, even in online tournaments, even at home. So, I'm hoping to do better next week. Thanks for watching if you stuck it out this far. We're gonna get to the finals, and we're gonna make top two. That's the mission for this season. I'll see you around. <laughs>